So I wanted to, um, I know in a lot of my other videos, I've been recently sharing, um, you know, because I grew up in a very strict Christian household, um, and I never went on a date until I was in college or anything, and I grew up with a very strict upbringing, and I shared in a lot of videos, like, various incidences about different situations, because especially mainly my older relatives and their 80s, they're, like, really strict Christians and kind of weird things that have happened with them um, or weird situations where I felt that they overreacted. Um, and so I kind of wanted to share a video and it's kind of funny um, because, uh, and I don't want to say the name of the book and I didn't even go out on a date until I got into college. Um, but my mom, she's not really that strict of a Christian anymore. She stopped going to church like a long time ago, but, um, when I was growing up, she went to church twice a week and she was a pretty strict Christian when I was growing up. So, um, I, when I was like maybe 11 or 12, my mom got me a book and um, I don't want to say the name of the book. And it was before I had gone out on a date or anything. And it was just basically, it was it was from the Christian bookstore down the street. And basically, um, it had, it's, I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't annoying. It was actually kind of an interesting book. And I just kind of wanted to share a video with you about it because it's kind of interesting. I want to get your opinions. Um, I thought it was interesting. I didn't think it was annoying or anything, but it ha I think it had some interesting points because she got it from the Christian bookstore and she just wanted to get me a book about um, dating and sex before I started doing that. So I was like maybe 11 or 12. Um, and basically um, the book was pretty interesting because like I said, she got it from a Christian bookstore so it had um, it was kind of entertaining it actually had some pretty good date ideas and everything and it had some um, good information about how to pick a partner and know what you want and what you don't want in a mate and uh, anyway my mom got it from the Christian bookstore and it also had I, I thought it was pretty interesting I agree with most of it um, but it also had a lot of pretty strict limits about sex and um, dating. Um, and it had, like, interesting advice on uh, the dating thing. So what it said, like, do's and don'ts for a date. Like, it had a really big section in the book, and it says, no, 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 absolutely not for going out on a date. One of the things on the list was uh, changing your clothes. Uh, the second one on the list was no turning off the light. And then the third was, like, don't lie down on the bed. Um, and then... Um, and then um, it had, you know, oh, like what I remember about the book is that it had a uh, section called, I don't know if you've heard of this before, especially if you're a Christian, they have a phrase, I don't know if it's just Christianity, probably, I don't know, maybe all religions, and it said unequally yoked, so it says don't, it says if you're interested in God being a really big uh, part of your life, then don't get involved with somebody who is not a Christian. Um, and then the other, um, you know, section, like one paragraph that I remember in particular, it says, if you want to have all the hurts, fears, regrets, shame, and anger, sure, go ahead and have all the sex that you want before you're married. And then... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of an interesting book. Like, like I said, it had like mostly a lot of um, good kind of funny um, points, but then it also had a lot of interesting limits about it and just a, a bunch of things that you should not um, do. And then there was a section in the back where it talked about, um, you know, yeses and noes for how knowing that you want to marry somebody and good reasons for wanting to, you know, um, married and 
Um, anyway, I don't want to say the name of the book. I just kind of wanted to do an audio clip about it because um, my mom um, got it. And like I shared my other videos, I grew up a very, very strict Christian and um, as you know my family like I even wrote like if you know if you subscribe to my channel like there is a video that I wrote I, I did a while ago and it said how my aunt who's in her 80s has really strict opinions and how about sh how she said you know actually told me straight up not to take off my birth control and not use birth control she's like completely abstinence only and so as you can see from my other videos um my family was very strict, so I don't want to share the name of the book, and I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. Um, a lot of the book talked about, you know, purity and, you know, blah, 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 and don't, oh, and then it had advice, like, one of the ones that I, one of the things that I remember about it is that it did have a section for women, and it said, um, advice about, you know, how to act and how to dress and then, you know, making sure that you don't wear clothes that are showing too much of your body and make sure that you're not having sex and, you know, giving off, you know, the wrong message and make sure that you are not robbing your future spouse of this gift and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I am not going to say the name of the book. Um, I thought it was mostly good. I actually got, kind of thought it was a funny book. It was actually pretty entertaining. And I, you know, it had really good dating points and actually some good ideas for going on a date. And I'm not saying whether the book is right or wrong. I just have a lot. I've been in the situation so many times because my family is just so over the top into church. And um, I just thought it would be kind of an interesting example for one of my videos about um, when I was growing up. You know, I was a preteen and one of the very interesting uh, religious experiences that my mother gave me.